Howdy arty aliens and welcome back to Drawing Anatomy with me Paul Yateman. I draw a foreshortened human hand from life in today's video which forms part of day 25 of my hashtag anatomy challenge. As well as practicing in my anatomy drawing I wanted to try a detailed life drawing. This is also preparing me for my promised redraw of my Spider-Man post. I did that at the end of last year. This is the first part of last night's live stream where I also drew a terminated figurine. The finger spread pose is a hard one to hold and as I am the model I took a photo of the pose I wanted and I brought it up on screen to use as my reference. The last time I drew a hand properly was in 2012 so it was high time I revisited drawing them. As I draw the hand, I am putting down the base construction in the form of tubes and circles and mostly trying to get the outside lines and shapes more or less correct. When I am unhappy with something, I erase it. Periodically, you will see the sketch pad disappearing from screen. This is when I remove the eraser from the pad. If you know of a good non-shedding eraser, let me know as I'd love to get one. The original plan was to draw the hand on its own and you see here I add in the background image. As that is not the focus of my drawing I leave it lacking in detail and worry about the hand only. This was good practice in foreshortening. Before getting into the colour I chose some fleshy coloured alcohol markers and I did a little swatching before getting into the colouring stage. Despite intending to start with my E000 I use the E00. Oops. At least the marker I used was not too dark, so not to worry. No erasing the pencil and drawing directly over it works out nicely as the shading is maintained and this negates the need to use grey markers. So in a production environment that potentially saves you time and money. You see I colour the entire hand with my lightest value before adding darker tones. I'll do some minimal blending with the lighter marker once all my darker ones have been applied. As I add colour, I am not going as highlighty as the source image. You could if you wanted to. The brown tone I apply at the end of the drawing is intended to be blended out by a lighter marker. And I do that here as the final step. Here is the finished life drawing scanned in. What do you think? If you have a try at this after viewing the video, let me see your results as I'd be interested to see how they go. Anywho, if you found this interesting or informative, you learned something or you were entertained, subscribe, like and share with friend and foe. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, the RC alien, Paul Yateman. Ciao and take care.